Hello, welcome to Gamers with a Shot of Bourbon. I'm Greg. The game we're playing today came out in 1990 on Super Nintendo Entertainment. It was developed by Quintet and published by Enix. There, there was a sequel that came out that I wish I owned so I could play it. And it was uh, released on the Super Nintendo in 1993. Uh, this game was also uh, re-released for mobile phones and on the Wii. Uh, 2004 and 2007, I think. But uh, Now, in this game, we're going to see a lot of religious subtext. It's going to make uh, references to monotheistic religions like Christianity. But we're also going to see things coming from Hinduism and uh, Greek mythology. Now, before we start... What qualifies this game to be good but forgotten? Good is subjective, and I have looked for reasons to add this game to the list because this is like one of my favorite games of all time. Like, it really, really is. Um, I'm probably attracted to Dungeon Defenders for the same reason that I really like this game so much, and that's the varying play style and the game's the game mixes it up, like a uh, like. The way you play this game is going to change between people, like a lot of games, but between play and between playthroughs. But it has multiple modes of play. There's two in this one. There's a side-scroll adventure level and a SimCity-like building level, where you interact with the citizens of the world, you perform miracles, and you help them. Like, and you, and you have to use both of these games types to reach your end game. It's it's actually really cool. Like, I love this game. I love this game. Um, the game Now, uh, the game's been recognized for its musical score. It was awarded Best Music in 1993 by Electronic Gaming Monthly. It, uh, it received a 9 out of 10 by the same magazine, 7.5 out of 10 by IGN, and a 3.95 out of 5 by Nintendo Power. But they have Nintendo in their name, so I don't trust them to be completely unbiased when they give a game a positive score. Actraiser has been uh, has made two greatest games lists: GameSpot's greatest games of all time and Nintendo Power's top two two hundred. It was one uh, fiftieth on that list. Now, as for the forgotten part, how many of you can honestly say you've heard of this game? Most of my friends haven't, and are like, "Are you serious? What the hell is this?" Well, I'm going to show you. Please create a name for yourself. Press the B button to enter and the letter you select. Press Y button to cancel any entries. Okay, hold on. Press the start button once you... Okay. Crap. There we go. Yeah, lowercase g. Are you awake? Sir Greg, I am the angel sent to help you recover your lost strength. Now, if all the types of monsters are, are in total control of the earth, it's because of the demon they call Tanzra, the one who sealed your power. In order to restore your power, you need to rekindle the people's faith in you. But first, let us go down to the earth and destroy all monsters that we may establish a beautiful land for our people to dwell in. Alright. So people. This is ActRaiser. The basic concept of this game is simple. Oh wait, past is zero. Like that. Yes, please. I'm going to save. Do you want to continue building? Yes, I do. Okay, so this is like sort of the game's main menu. This is where you select your levels. Like, woo, select level that you want to do. Observe the people, that's where you go interact with them. When well, when you have people there, you can go fight monsters. That's the side-scrolling. So, sim, side-scrolling, you know, this is sort of like your status screen's options. So, now to the way the game progresses. You go to a place, you clear out the monsters, so people can live there. Then you help the people, 
and then when you're ready you can move on to the next one and you sometimes you have to go back you have to do other things promote trade crap like that but that's the general idea of the game two sta go, you go back and forth between two stages side scroll god mode side scroll god mode back and forth and you can even mix it up you don't have to just don't have to go back and forth you can go through once you get a little bit into the game you can actually go side scroll side scroll side scroll do a lot of god mode or you know spend a lot of time in god mode building up your power getting stronger and then you know go back into side scroll but uh, all right let's go clear this uh, first level Okay. Just... Let me check the controls real quick. Oh, crap. Maybe I can't get up there. From there. Like, this is how I spent my childhood, this game. Oh. Um, the reason I got right here was because he can change directions and I can quickly respond to that and you can just be like, whoa, I got lucky this time and just, just like, whoop. Look at me. One up. Crap, okay. I don't have to, I don't care about him. Not gonna kill him. Just gonna let him live. Because I'm a merciful god like that. Boom. That was a full heal. Or, not. A, I don't know if it's a full heal, or if it's just a bunch of hell. And it's just more than I have right now. Because you use that kind of thing to heal, that intensity healing all game. This guy doesn't hurt you. You use him to carry around in this level. Oh, whoa. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Oh, crap. I'm an idiot. Ah, uh, Man, you know, that tree is really creepy. Mother... Fucker. Mother motherfucker. I want that thingy up there. Oh, sweet health. Dun, 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 dun. Uh-oh. Alright. Boss fight. Uh... Oh, snap. Oh, that was close. Oh yeah. Whoa. Yeah, his spear when it's down can block my sword. And I'm just like, waha. By the way, I can't move right there. Like, the moment I stopped, I couldn't move. I was trying to move. I wanted to go look at the back of the place because I've, I don't think, I've, I don't think I've ever tried to go back there. I want to know what's back there. Of course, I don't know how you can run past the centaur guy. 
this is God mode. This is Sim City mode. See, it's, well, it's a Sim in the corner now. So, yeah. Sir Greg, Fillmore has become a land where people can live in peace. <laughs> our first duty is to protect our people from any monsters. I will do as you instruct. Please rid the land of these monsters with my arrows. There are several mysterious circles on the ground which represent monster layers. If you direct the people correctly, they will be able to seal the layers. You will discover the monsters can... Oh, blah. If, this, if destroyed, control of this land's destiny will return to the people. Alright, my master, let us work towards peace. Sir Greg, I know it's unexpected, but our people in Fillmore have something to tell you. My master, we are having a difficult time building homes because of many bushes. Please burn the bushes and guide us as we begin to build our roads. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's this button. Ha! Gotcha. There are 149 in this layer, so I can either, like, kill them all... Yeah, the, the 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 dragons take a lot to kill. Oh my god, but Oh, and if it runs off the screen that doesn't count as killing it. I remember that one. That made me mad. Alright, direct the people. Yeah, so I can do that. is now under construction. Now, the way this phase works is you construct, tell people to go into a direction, you tell them how to build their city. A little time will pass based on the hourglass, and then the hourglass in the top of the bar corner, so you see it there? It's at the bottom. All right, so then, uh, and then the people will build some in the direction you tell them to. We finally mastered the skill of hunting animals. Now we have enough confidence to fight monsters. Lead us to the monster's lairs. Do 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 Now you might be wondering what happens when the angel dies. The angel can't die. When you when you take full da damage, you just can't shoot arrows anymore. It's as simple as that. And you can't shoot arrows until uh, the town people construct and you get a little help back, health back. Oh yes. What they just found is a item called a a bomb. Blows all the monsters that are in the sky out of the sky. Now you may wonder if you can't die, and then what really is the motivation for killing these monsters? I'll tell you. They will destroy the town. The bats will just like pick up people and carry them away. Which is no bueno. The dragons will just like these dragons, the frost ones, they will just like li lightning zap. I don't get. I don't. I don't get. Blue dragons, not frost. Blue dragons. They will lightning zap houses and just like kill people. Many of my thoughts actually come real into the world. If those powers are real, I feel the presence of something holy radiating from the woods east of here. Oh, I can't clear the, uh... Oh, yeah. The SP is... Oh my god. No, my people. Crap. Yeah, you just saw that bat carry people off, and I stopped him. So, bats are the most forgiving. Now, 
You may notice the population in the corner, 66 out of 66. That's population in this city out of population in the world. Well, that blows. And once it reaches a certain world population, I level up. Like, it's as simple as that. Now, if the population goes back down under that, you don't lose your level. But you have a little bit farther to go to your next level. Obviously. As you level up, you get more SP for use in casting your special powers. Your miracle points. Crap, motherfucker, this dragon. They never behave like this in the first level, I swear. I took that particular build order because I wanted them to flesh out all the roads. Because it makes me mad when I don't have all the roads nice and fleshed out. I'll come back for this little wingy dude that goes like this way. I'll come back for it some other time. But for now, my level's increased. My level is 2, the HP is 9. Total 200, okay, I can do that. You can interrupt the dragon by shooting him, but that's kind of hard. Oh my god, stop that. Motherfucker. Oh, I actually got him out of the mother. Send me off royally. He wants me to blow up the rock. Holy mother of God. Oh, yeah. Magic token, I will accept your offering, for I am a wonderful god. Alright, I need to seal some more of these motherfucking monster layers. Every time I think about it, like I'm in the middle of shooting something, or the town's under construction. Mother. Oh my god, I hate this dragon. Come on. Oh crap, nope, didn't mean to do that. You might be wondering when I can go start the next side-scrolling level, whenever I damn feel like it. They found something in the monster lair. Found a strange statue we presented as an offering. Okay, cool. Love those statues. I'll show you what that magical fire does here in a bit. It's pretty sweet. You can't use it in this mode. It's an item for your other mode. Let's see. Cool, I can focus on this dragon. Oh no you don't.
Damn it. So close. Oh, sweet. We have developed a fishing trade here in Fillmore. A few days ago, fishman. Oh, a scroll. Awesome. That's what I've been waiting on. Let's see. How many more of these dragons are there? Oh my god. There's just so many dragons. Quit that. Okay. Oh, mother. Forgot to do my magic crap. Since I have magic now. I meant to do that. I should have done that. God damn it! This is the what will be the city of Bloodpool. In case you're wondering, no, your other stats don't go up as you level up. You are God. You just become more. You don't become more powerful, you just become more resilient. I may purposely die here in a bit just so you guys can see what happens when God dies. For the lols. Although, once we get into that later levels like Marinara, I, I actually don't know how you pronounce it. I just call it Marinara. Always have. Probably always will. I'll probably die with a little bit more frequency than what you've seen here so far. Which is, I guess, any death would be an increase in the frequency. Oh. Motherfucker. The first few bosses are all about positioning. After that, it t starts taking some skill. Because you have less health, they give you more options for a position wise positioning. You can do this, do it this way. This is the way I've always done it. Wait a minute. It says I've got a magic score. Can I? Oh, mother. By the way, if I fall into that lava pit down there, which more likely than you think. Ah! Yeah. Yeah, like that. I don't actually know if that'll come back and hit me, but I'm not gonna risk it. I hate these bitches. They look like people, why would they want to hurt me? They're people. This game's also a little generous with where you respawn.
You can get three hits on him. I don't think you can get four doing this. Crap. Last time I got three on him a couple of times. I'll have to sit here and focus on it. Crap. I think you gotta get that first swipe in as he's landing to actually get off the third hit. Oh, almost had him. Oh. Son of a bitch. Son of a... Girl! I wonder if they designed it like that. Like, here's a really awesome way to where you can fight him without taking any damage. But if you do, you lose. Screw it, I don't want it. I just I just want to finish the level. Wait, was that health? That was health, wasn't it? Back there. Ah, oh, mother. Ah, oh, shit, I need to stop that. Yeah, I think this is as far as I can go without over towards the side without uh, landing on the platform above me. Oh, son of a bitch. Almost, almost missed that second hit. Alright, I'm gonna get it this time, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna win the fight this time. He's just gotta jump over three more times. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Demacia. Ah, uh, uh, no, I'm kidding. Not Demacia. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Oh, I, I might be taking way too much enjoyment in this game. God, I love it. Blood pool is where people can live. Because of the dry marshes, use your sunlight to... Yeah, so intense sunlight, dry up the marshes. I'm gonna return to the Sky Palace real quick. Boom! Okay, there we go, it's selected now. Status, status screens. In case you're wondering, there. Are... Marana, 
that's what it's called, not Marinara. Marana. Okay, there are six cities in the game. Twelve levels. That's... Okay. So you're probably like, well, and you've already finished two? This game can't be that long. Well... It's kinda not. But, uh... When you also add in the god mode levels, it takes a little bit longer. So... Yeah. Alright, well guys, well, I think we're going to call this an episode, and I will see you next time on Gamers with a Shot of Bourbon.